Hey gals, it's Jenny here. Let's do a little bit of um, deeper digging into this whole empath question. So many of us are empaths and we have a tendency to, you know, for self-preservation reasons, past life reasons, ancestral trauma reasons, or even this life's shutdown reasons, we tend to suppress those um, those abilities in ourselves. And now what I'd like to do is open it up to the beings of light to see what they have to say. Let's get their insights on um, being an empath and what that, you know, what their higher knowing perspective is on that. Okay, so whew, I'm just gonna like whoosh, there we go, okay, excellent. Okay, there is, oh, one Pleiadian being that's coming up very uh, clearly, and then there are two others behind, and then we also have a Lemurian, um, and also a Lemurian being, and also one of my Iridian uh, beings of light is here as well. Thank you so much for joining us. We also have a Hathor who is just gonna be watching. Um, okay, so the Pleiadian who came up really super strong, you see his head really super big. He wants to, um, he wants to talk, he wants to share. <laughs> awesome, and I did a request sharing, so this is great. So the Pleiadian beings are very interested, many of them, not all of them, but there are several, there are multiple groups of Pleiadian beings who are very interested in our humanness, in our humanness what it means to be human, to live on this planet, and to have these experiences that we have. It's very different from theirs, from their experience. Uh -huh. uh, although they are saying that they have some very nice um, planets <laughs> that suit them quite well. Mm -hmm. And they've been keeping an eye on us because we're a volatile race, a volatile race of beings. And, um, so they're very particularly interested in this conversation because it points to the evolving nature of humanity. <laughs> and um, uh, so cool. Okay, good. And so what they're saying is that we're, we're in our infancy in this way, that um, as a human race, as a race in general, and they understand, you know, the Pleiadians, there are seven star systems there that we know of. There's an eighth. Interesting. But it's very much smaller and it's hidden hidden to us, hidden to our view. Got that. That's interesting. Okay. And that what they are... Um, so anyway, what, they're, what he's saying is that he understands that the whole of the human race does not indicate any one individual. And just as the whole of the Pleiadian um, star system and all of the inhabitants of that star system, the Pleiadian beings, that there are many different um, ideologies and threat. But what he's saying is that as a whole, on a whole, that the Pleiadian beings are advanced enough that their telepathic skills and their ability to visit <laughs> in this way for channeling is uh, much more developed than ours. And um, for instance, we still call in other beings from outside of ourselves in order to channel, instead of being available to channeling for them. <laughs> I never even thought of that. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so funny. Wow, what a revelation. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, cool. Um, right, so, all right, so, okay, so he is saying that he's very excited, or they're, you know, their whole, the, uh, the Lemurian beings are very excited too. The Lemurian beings are much more closer to Earth. Um, wow, there's just like all these competing voices at this moment. Um, anyway, the Pleiadian being, he says he's fine with um, what he's already shared, is that he's very excited that we are rising, uh, that our, our, Ascension intelligence is becoming re more well refined and that empathy being an empath is part of that sort of generalization of the rising of our 
intuitive intelligence. Very good and thank you. The Lemurian being would really like to speak now. And this being is saying that, um, okay, you guys, I just need to tell you that I have seen the Lemurian beings. There's a huge colony of them, colony, whatever, group of them, um, underneath that little mountain that's next to the, um, that's next to Mount Shasta. <laughs> I was just checking to see, am I really allowed to tell them about that? And they say, yeah, it's fine. Um, they say most humans won't believe it anyway. <laughs> okay. So anyway, because they are so intimately connected with our earth, um, they are particularly interested in this whole empath discussion and um, they are wanting to express their gratitude for the continuation of learning. And so I'm becoming, do you see my voice totally changed between the Pleiadian being and this Lemurian being, it's totally different. Interesting. Um, I was just noticing. And so anyway, they are expressing their gratitude for our continued learning of empath ways. And because this lays a foundational um, story, it's changing the foundational story of humanity. Okay. Um, and I think what that means is that, you know, all of our past lives and all of our ancestral past and all of our like current past lays a foundation for our belief systems, you know, as a general human, human being, we have belief systems like, you know, the earth was believed to be flat just hundreds of years ago, not very long ago, really. Um, and now, you know, so many of us believe that there are life forms on other planets. Like that's, um, you know, there are these foundations of belief. And so that's what the Lemurian being is bringing forward is that we are creating a new foundation of belief because we are opening and embracing, to, opening to and embracing our empath nature, our empathic nature. Good. And it's really important because it, what it's doing is it's opening up our ability to be telepathic. And the Lemurian beings are totally telepathic. Uh, they do hum. They do have a way that they hum. They, they share some kind of vibrational, they project a vibration. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so, but they're not limited by words and translating languages and stuff like that like all that's all yeah it's all telepathic <laughs> they say one of the most uh, common misconceptions is that um those who are telepathic have no boundaries like all of their you know that the, that they can just you know read each other's minds like everything and that's not how it works <laughs> just in the same way that we are able to use our voice to mask our own feelings and to um, tell lies and things like that, um, they they can also do that telepathically. It's just that it's so much faster than having to talk. And the meanings can get those pictures. It's just so fast. It's just so fast. And it doesn't require that you're in close proximity. Electronic devices are not important because it can just travel through space and time. It's yeah. So anyway, they're really excited about this process of raising the vibration of empathic knowing and like the Pleiadian being said, learning and embracing that, that part of ourselves, our humanness. And that is very much available to us and able to be developed in us. <laughs> thank you so much the Pleiadian beings of light and thank you so much to the Lemurian beings for having their uh, quote unquote voices heard um, their telepathic voices yes okay so I hope that, that was a really fun um, little explanation and please pop your questions into the comment box and I will get to them next week all right many blessings and so much love to you